Thank you very much. It's always a bit delicate for a diplomat to speak after such words. This day when everywhere in the world we are reaffirming our duty to combat poverty and to ensure the necessary participation of people who live in poverty to be involved in all activities in this area. This year, this is also the theme of the Resolution Rights of the Child, which is being discussed currently in the General Assembly. There is no more striking testimony of the dignity and greatness of every human being than the commitment to the poorest to ensure that they can invoke their rights. Therefore, we're very happy today that people from the all four corners of the world are here to attest uh, to extreme poverty. And once again this year, I would like to pay a particular tribute to the leaders and activists of ATD Fourth World, who are continuing the work of Per Brzezinski, the founder of the movement, in partnership with a worldwide network of international and local NGOs in both industrialized and developing countries. France has always supported the need for the United Nations to give priority attention to the question of the eradication of poverty, whether from the perspective of development or the defense of human rights. As you know, the reduction of poverty is the first Millennium Development Goal. France, together with its partners in the European Union, remains determined to help the entire international community to attain this objective. For example, through aid to development, the promotion of equitable trade and good governance. I would like to add to this international commitment for the eradication of poverty the policy conducted at the national level for example, by Mr. Martin Hirsch, the High Commissioner for Solidarity, Active Solidarities Against Poverty. He is a member of the Cabinet. In conclusion, I would like once again to recall that extreme poverty is not just an economic or development problem. It touches the so-called developed and least developed countries alike. It is an obstacle to the full and effective exercise of human rights but it is not inevitable. Our commitment to ensure the dignity of all human beings must make it recede. Thank you.